Hi, this is Suze Laventero. This is an air sign collective reading. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, let's take that one. Ooh, we'll take that one too. We'll take that one. <laughs> we'll take that one. Okay, so let's start with this. Okay, so I feel like in all of us, we have this kind of eternal connection, right? The lovers. And no matter what is going on in mind uh, that causes us to see things in the physical reality like war and things like that, um, there is this eternal connectedness that we all are. And sometimes through seeing those things in the physical reality that are other than this kind of eternal soul, sometimes uh, it's like it, this questioning, this doubting soul can uh, cause one to uh, perhaps waver in faith, right? Okay, so... But I feel like we all have this innate wisdom that is the sage. Oh my goodness, there's a rat here. Okay, so if we pay attention to the details uh, and really take a close look and investigate self and others, then we can start to um, see uh, the old patterns of the past that uh, we want to move from. Okay. All right, so I feel like this is to see what we can cut out uh, that no longer serves us. Okay. Okay, so meditation uh, might be necessary. Now, sometimes a walking meditation where you just silence the mind and you just kind of walk through uh, outside, sometimes that is, is a form of meditation. For some people, it's getting in the car and turning on the radio, clear music, right, with no words. Sometimes that can bring in uh, clarity. Okay. All right, so I feel like what's been going on has been causing some unrest, <clears throat> but I feel like at the core, it's due to <clears throat> a lot of people on a personal level feeling like they're not safe, right? Okay. And the path to feeling secure and safe is... Uh, keeping a clear mind, keeping your energy pure, your own energy. And having the courage to have faith. Okay, so for diversions from that can cause other people to suffer. Okay, so it's that deep knowing and, and it comes through connection. Okay. 
Okay, so let me back up. So it's like there is a manager, right, of, of this reality. The sun comes up, the moon comes out at night, and things grow, right? There's a natural cycle that happens. Okay, and uh, so as we understand that, uh, then we can move into a place that is feels more secure. Okay, now what could cause some of that is on a personal level, like especially if they're leaders, right, and you have a fear of death, Okay, so, and I'm not talking about, everyone knows that they have a time on their head, but I'm talking about the kind of fear of death that causes other people to suffer. And what I mean by that is extreme fear around death, right? And that um, can be passed on from generations. So, um, if you notice that anyone in your family uh, was seemed overprotective. Take a look at that, right? Okay. Now, here it says three modes, and I feel like here we're talking about body, mind, and spirit, right? Aligning those, bringing in the abundance, and uh, in that full connection, you would be inspired, right, to... Uh, you would feel inspired to reach for new places uh, rather than move in lack mentality. And that can cause wars, right? Okay. So it's like it's important to move your energy in a prosperous, abundant place um, so that that doesn't go into the melting pot of creation for us to see, right? It's like, hello. <laughs> All right, so calm meditation. All right, so how do you tune out the world, right, when, um, when there's a lot going on? Okay, well, it just has to be... Uh, you just have to make it a priority, right? All right, so, um, and it doesn't have to start out calm, right? We know that. We can uh, go take a walk. We could maybe do some yoga, do some stretches, chair calisthenics, uh, chair yoga, right? Okay, those are the kind of things. And sometimes just smelling a fragrance or uh, burning some incense can bring this. Listening to uh, flute music, sitar, um, those are the kind of things that can bring you ease. And a lot of times, I listen to Indian mantras. I'm not sure everything what they're saying, but <laughs> but it's the feeling, right? And if it feels energetically uplifting, uh, then uh, I listen to it sometimes. Okay, so there's certain kind of... Uh, can bring you ease, different notes, right? Okay. Now, in that connection, then we can see, uh, then we can begin to see the God, right? The pure energy that we are, uh, not just within us, but in others. And um, I feel like we're all reaching for this, whether it's conscious or unconscious. Okay. And here it's like this person... Uh, is with the animals, right? Embracing it. So that's a message too. I feel like um, people are at different degrees of learning in this physical reality and we have to move from tolerance to uh, loving, right? I feel like that's, that's the work. Okay. All right, let's see what all this is. Okay, skywriting the fates. Okay. So now how this happens is, okay, especially like if you're a news reporter and things like that, you want to be careful about uh, what you're saying, right? Because your word can be your wand, right? So um, take a look at that. Okay, when you, before you write and speak, 
that's a message. Okay, so I feel like we've been doing this, right, for a long time. Okay, so it's like uh, this kingdom, please come, right, that we've been imagining. Okay, so, um, and we have been moving in grace and generosity. And, but there has been some, there's a three here. Okay. So I feel like what the problem's been, uh, the problem was, was that people were suppressing uh, things, hiding. And that, that got pushed down so far. And this is the thing. It's like, um, it's like thinking that spirit doesn't know what's going on, right? Because that spirit is also you, that non-physical energy. So it's like, even if you say to another person something, their non-physical version, version is receiving it in its fullest form, not the hidden, right? So this is why authenticity and telling the truth is very important. Okay. So, um, it's important to, uh, also, uh, look into, uh, self study, right? Every day and move in the bliss. Okay. So here it says the universe is your partner, right? And this is like for moving from the three to the four. Okay, so it's moving into that uh, from the three-dimensional to four-dimensional, which is love, right? Okay, now love without wisdom can cause problems too. Okay, so... That is the transformation for many from 3D to 4D to this interaction with lower 5D. Watchers transpersonal. Okay, so, um, so, so this is called uh, reaching for the light, right? Okay, so tuning into your six-dimensional self and uh, looking into the future and seeing what you want to create and be on the leading edge. All right, so... Um, yeah, in this energy, the aligned energy, right, six, uh, this is the alignment with multidimensional self, then it's, it goes beyond that lower 5D and 4D fighting, okay, so, um, it's good to, that's why it's good to meditate and connect, okay, so in that way, we can close the gaps, right, uh, repairing the veil and through forgiveness of self and others, uh, then we can um, close out the cycle. All right, so I feel like this is what we're reaching for, right? This like um, global harmony, right? And sometimes through that, it can look funky. And um, there is that potential, right, to come together again and reunite. It takes personal alignment for everyone to go in in their own energy and to... Um, Check your warehouse. <laughs> what have you been storing in baggage, right, that you can get rid of, right? <clears throat> can you do a spring cleaning there? Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's back up here. Now, what this takes is every day understanding that each new day, each day is a new day, right? Right? And through each new day, looking through a clear lens, whatever it was before doesn't have to be today. Okay. 
But sometimes certain people can't, no, nope, let's back up. Sometimes certain people are unwilling to change, right? And, and that is sometimes um, that not letting go. Um, well, at any rate, a rubber band will stretch and then bounce, right? So it's going to move. All right, so deep, quiet meditation and stillness. It's all about getting quiet, meditating. Mm. Okay, so. Did you feel that? Okay. That's pretty much what that card was about. <laughs> okay, so connectivity. I think we're reaching for this, right? Ooh, I never noticed that. It looks like a seahorse. Okay, so in this electric ocean of love, right? We're trying to move from this five. Okay. Okay, sky dancer, surrender. Okay. I feel like what this is calling for is to find ways to move in your joy. For me, uh, dragonflies are joy, symbols of joy. Okay. So it's like surrender to the joy that's you, right? Even in the toughest uh, things that we see in the physical reality, to release that to spirit, right? And uh, lift the weight off your shoulders and hand it over to spirit, right? To work out. Trust and have faith. Uh, in the grace that is also you, right? And um, and prayer helps a lot too, right? All right, let's see what's coming up next. Right, I feel like it's like spirit asking to pay attention to what we're going through now, right? Because through experience is how we learn. And then we can come into this one energy. Okay. Yeah, 10 and then to the one. Okay. And then in that wholeness, we can move into these unmarked territories and discover new things. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, thank you.